Hey guys, welcome back to another Asda Pickups. It's been so long since the last one. Um, it's probably been about a year. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm back at Asda. So what have I decided to get today? Well, I figured I was going to treat myself to some PS4 games because I really wanted to get some of the VR ones. But the one, the Asda that I go to in DICE today has got fuck all. It's got absolutely nothing in it. So I settled for your standalone PS4 games. So this is the two that I got, because I bought two today. Um, and I got two films as well. So it's going to be a bit of a quick video. First up was an absolute bargain. One of your £5 jaunts. i um, quite surprised this was £5, but I did always say if I was going to buy this game, it would have to drop in price amazingly. And it £5, I'm not going to argue, brand new and sealed. And that is Star Wars Battlefront. Um, basically just for the collection to be honest I, I like the the graphics in this I like the, the gameplay of it I have watched a lot of gameplay videos of it um, but for me it's it's just one of those that I just really wanted to have in the collection and obviously with Battlefront 2 um, I'm going to want to try and get into the series a little bit but yeah really nice to have for £5 I couldn't say no I did look at it and I thought mm, and then I seen the price tag on it I was like surely god that's not £5 but yes it was £5 not going to say no to that so it's Star Wars Battlefront Boom, brand new and sealed. The sexy PS4 strip along the bottom there for a fiver. Right, next game I have played and completed on the PS3. This game is fucking amazing. If you haven't played this game, you have to get out there and do it. Um, it's just one of the best games that I've played um, back in the day. And that is L.A. Noire, um, which I have picked up now for the PS4. So I will play it through again. I absolutely love this game and it, it hooked me from day one. You know, I think the very first scene is you're traveling through a, a, a back alley and you're trying to figure out somebody's been murdered um, and you're starting off as like a rookie cop and then you work your way up through through the through the system and you become like this um, detective, um, CIA, I think it is, working for like CIA or FBI or whatever the fuck it is. But anyway, yeah, LA Noir. It's, it's, it's quality. It's brilliant. It's like Grand Theft Auto. Um, has been slapped in the face with a ton of retro um, and that is what I love about this game so highly recommend it it is challenging it isn't an easy game it took me quite a while completed to be fair but it's, you know it's been upgraded to 1080p so it should be fucking popping off the screen um, but I loved it anyway I thought the graphics in the PS3 for this game was really really good and at the time it was like a groundbreaking thing um, but yeah now that they've sort of like Juiced up a little bit for the PS4. I am really looking forward to giving this a bash again. £24. Um, I thought, yeah, not bad. I wasn't wanting to get it for like full price when it came out because obviously I'd, I'd played it before and I'd completed it on the PS3. So I didn't see the point in going all out to get it um, on day one. So I thought, I'll wait a while. Um, you know, I played the game. I'm in no rush to play it again. So it's nice to have it back. It'll probably stay sealed in the collection for a little while. I've got a little bit of a backlog to get through. Same as Star Wars, ba Star Wars Battlefront, but I will get around to them. Um, but yeah. L.A. Noir, it's a fucking brilliant game. If you haven't played this game, you owe it to yourself to go out and check it out. Quality. Right, moving on to films. I was speaking to my friend <coughs> and fellow work colleague, Stuart. Stuart, if you're watching, hello. Um, he was going on about this film like all day today and kind of like did my head in with it. So he was talking about, he's picked up the sequel that's just been released. Um, he picked that up, he was working a night shift and then he went and picked that up. And I made the fatal error of telling him I've never even watched the first one. And he just went absolutely apeshit on me and he's like, dude, you have to get that sorted. So I'm like, okay, dude, I'll get it sorted. So I was in Asdam for £5, I come across Blade Runner, the final cut. Yes, I have never seen this film. Um, well, actually, no, technically I kind of have. I, I haven't watched it all the way through. I've watched like the first, I don't know. I don't even know how long, to be fair, because I kind of fell asleep. It bored the tits off me, but I'm going to go and watch it again because I do actually really want to watch Blade Runner 2049 because it looked okay. But, you know, by the time 2049 comes around, it'll look so fucking outdated, that film. You know, I don't like films that put futuristic dates on them, especially that aren't that far away um, in reality. So, yeah, it, it kind of, it's kind of balls. It's like, what uh, what was that film? Escape from New York, set in 1997. Okay, fair enough, it came out in 1981, but still, that film just trips me up every time I watch it. I'm just like, that's so not 1997. But even though that's like set in the future, it's still so fucking retro, you know, it's, oh, it's bizarre. But anyway, anyway, Blade Runner, yeah, never seen it. I'm going to watch it, Stuart, I, I promise you. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to tell you all about it. You know all about it anyway, but I'm going to tell you all about it. And then I'm going to go and get a Blade Runner 2049 because I do want to watch that. It does look okay. 
Um, but yeah, Blade Runner, the final cut. So I'm going to... Uh, oh, I'm actually not that excited about it. Can you tell by the facial expressions? There's just no excitement in there whatsoever. And the last film, this was just pure hilarity when I seen it. I just thought, I've got to get this. This is just brilliant. From the producers of Sharknado. So the missus is probably going to want to watch this. She's like a massive Sharknado fan. But for £3, I thought, uh -uh, not passing that up. It's too funny to pass up. And that is literally the funniest title I've seen there today. Apart from Shark in Venice. Which I think I picked up for the missus, actually. I'm not too sure. I might go back and get that. Because that was only £3 as well. But this, £3. Bargain. For Granny of the Dead. Like, seriously, what the fuck? Right, yeah, Granny of the Dead, man. So I play of Shaun of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, you know, Night of the Living Dead, but Granny of the Dead, fucking Oscar winner right here. No, it's never going to be. I know, but I just thought I'd pick it up. i check it out. I'm, I'm going to hate this. I think I'm going to fall asleep at this quicker than I will Blade Runner, Um, to be fair. But Granny of the Dead, come on. Um, Yeah, why? I don't know. Because it was three pounds and she came with false teeth. Man. Bring, brimming with all out gory goodness, the real deal for zombie fanatics. Fuck off. Is it fuck? This is going to be shit. This is going to be so fucking bad. However, no, there's absolutely no one in it I recognise. So I know this is going to be dire. So that's literally three pound down the drain. And how long does this fucking run for? 86 minutes of my life I'm never going to see again. But I bought it. So I'm going to watch it. So Granny of the Dead. So let's recap. £3, Granny of the Dead. Probably pick up of the day. Blade Runner, the final cut, because, you know, I want to fall asleep. L.A. Noir, because it is class. And Star Wars Battlefront, because it was a fiver. And it was cheap as chips, and it's going to go in the collection. So that's Ace. So four, well, two games... Two PS4 games added to the collection. Two DVDs, which I will watch eventually. Blade Runner, I'm actually going to watch that like either tonight or tomorrow, I think. By the time this video is uploaded, I will have watched it. Um, so feel free to leave spoilers on it. But, you know, Blade Runner 2049, I won't have watched that yet, probably. I think I'm going to wait till payday and then I'll go and treat myself to that. But anyway, yeah, boom. And I went and picked up to get me through the play. Because this is like my gameplay of choice, Minstrels. So anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. I will see you soon for another video. In the meantime, I'm going to go because the battery's about to die. And that's, holy shit, that's coming up to eight minutes. Fucking hell, I can ramble on. I can really ramble on. Thanks again for all my new subscribers. Please come over and check me out on Facebook. Check me out on, and check me, and check everybody else out on RetroTech 100. The guy's just recently hit a thousand subs. RetroTech 100, congratulations, man. I hope to get there one day. He's doing a really awesome joystick giveaway. So go over and check him out. Um... I'm not sure he'll put it up by now. I think he might, well, he might have done. If he hasn't, go over and check him out. If he has done, sorry you missed out. Um, I am going to be doing a console giveaway when I reach 1,000 subs, which I'm actually getting not too far away from. I'm, not, I'm currently 91 away. Um, so I'm hoping to, to bump up the numbers to get to 1,000. I really enjoyed the 750 subscriber contest, which seems like an age ago now. So I really want to get to 1,000 so I can do a console giveaway. Um, I'm not going to say which console I'm going to do yet. It's going to be... Actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say. I was waiting to say it there. Um, I, I kind of tell you what I want to do, but I'm definitely going to be giving a big a big giveaway. Um, so, you know, subscribe if you're new to the channel um, and you'll be entered in the contest, you know... It's, it's far away, yeah. I'm, I've yet to come across like the details of what I'm going to do with it. But subscribe to the channel. Go over and check me out on Facebook. Hit me up there. Hit a like there. Um, go over and check me out on RetroTech 100. Check everyone else out on RetroTech 100 because they're really awesome guys over there. Fantastic page. And I did a shout out to them recently. A lot of their YouTubers there. Um, I'm going to be doing shout outs to a few more um, because there's just so many on there that I couldn't cram into one video. But I will go back and do again. So, you know, that's coming, guys. So check that out as well. Uh, but in the meantime, take it easy. Thanks very much for watching. Like I say, and I will see you soon for another pickups. Probably not an Asda one, but fuck it, you know, a pickup's a pickup, right? It gives a shit where I get it from. I just like separating my pickups so I can go back and go, oh yeah, I remember I got that from Asda. Instead of just having this one big pickup video where I'm just like, I don't know where the fuck I got that from. But anyway, take it easy. Are we going to hit 10 minutes? We probably are. Can I keep speaking for an extra 10 seconds? I don't know. Let's see. The light's fading. I need to go home and play these games. I need to go watch Granny of the Dead, actually, because it's fucking amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be shit. See you later.